Hello Cyber Warriors. Welcome back to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Today we have an intriguing journey ahead of us. Also we have reached 1000 subscribe on YouTube. Thank you so much for your love and support. This 1000 subscribe journey was impossible without your support. Keep supporting and growing with us thanks again. Today we're about to delve into the enigmatic realm of website hacking, a world where the invisible vulnerabilities of the web become the playground for hackers. But don't worry, we have the powerful Kali Linux by our side, a tool that will help us understand and counter these threats. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. This video is purely educational. We're here to understand and protect, not to cause harm or engage in any illegal activities. We firmly condemn any such actions. So, with our intentions set straight and our curiosity piqued, are we ready to dive into the depths of website vulnerabilities and how they can be exploited? Let's get started. Opening. Why do websites get hacked? Well, my friends, the answer lies in a term we call vulnerabilities. Much like a fortress with a secret passage or a castle with a weakened wall, websites too have their weak spots. These vulnerabilities, when exploited, can lead to a range of devastating outcomes from data theft to total control of the website. Let's delve a bit deeper into this. One of the most common vulnerabilities is cross-site scripting, or XSS. This happens when hackers inject malicious scripts into web pages viewed by other users. These scripts can steal information, alter web content, or even redirect users to different sites. Then there's SQL injection, a crafty technique where hackers manipulate databases through input fields. Think of it as slipping a secret message to a guard that makes him unlock all the doors. This can lead to unauthorized access to sensitive data, and in extreme cases, command over the entire database. Lastly, we have broken authentication. This is when a website's login mechanisms are weak, making it easy for hackers to impersonate legitimate users. Imagine a castle where the guards can't tell the difference between the king and a common thief. Not a great situation, is it? Now. These are just a few examples. In reality, there are countless types of vulnerabilities out there. Each one is like a unique puzzle, waiting for a hacker to solve it. And the more complex the website, the more potential vulnerabilities it might have. So what's the takeaway here? Well, understanding these vulnerabilities not only gives us an insight into the mind of a hacker, but also helps us build more secure websites. By knowing what to look for, we can patch these weak spots and make our websites much harder to penetrate. Closing. These vulnerabilities make websites easy targets for hackers. But remember, with knowledge comes power. The more we understand these vulnerabilities, the better we can defend against them. So keep learning, stay curious, and always strive to make the digital world a safer place. Opening. Why Kali Linux? So why do hackers often turn to Kali Linux? For starters, Kali Linux is a free, open-source operating system that's specifically designed for penetration testing and ethical hacking. It comes pre-loaded with a host of tools that can aid in the discovery, exploitation, and mitigation of vulnerabilities in a variety of systems and applications. Kali Linux is essentially a one-stop shop for ethical hackers, offering a comprehensive suite of tools right at their fingertips. But it's not just the quantity of tools that makes Kali Linux so appealing to cybersecurity enthusiasts. It's the quality of these tools and how they work together that truly sets Kali Linux apart. Let's delve a little deeper and explore some of these tools. First up, we have Nmap. Short for Network Mapper, Nmap is a highly flexible and powerful tool used for network exploration and security auditing. It can help you discover hosts and services on a computer network thus creating a map of the network. From scanning a wide range of IP addresses to finding out which ports are open on a specific machine, Nmap is a hacker's best friend when it comes to reconnaissance. Next, we have Skullmap. As the name suggests, Skullmap is all about SQL injection, one of the most prevalent types of website vulnerabilities. This automated tool can detect and exploit SQL injection flaws, enabling a hacker to tamper with, extract, or even manipulate a website's underlying database. With enough skill and a little bit of luck, Skillmap can provide a hacker with a treasure trove of valuable data. Then, there's Metasploit. This is the big one, folks. Metasploit is a comprehensive framework for developing, testing, and executing exploits. 
It's widely used by cybersecurity professionals for penetration testing, vulnerability research, and exploit development. With its vast collection of pre-written exploits, Metasploit can make the process of exploiting a known vulnerability much more streamlined. These are just a few examples of the tools available in Kali Linux. Others include Wireshark for network protocol analysis, Burp Suite for web application security testing, and John the Ripper for password cracking. The list goes on and on. So, in a nutshell, Kali Linux is the Swiss Army knife of ethical hacking. It's a powerful, versatile, and comprehensive operating system that provides hackers with all the tools they need to identify and exploit vulnerabilities. With Kali Linux, the world of ethical hacking becomes less of a daunting wilderness and more of a structured playground. It's a platform where hackers can experiment, learn, and grow, all while contributing to the overall security and integrity of the digital landscape. Closing. These tools make Kali Linux a hacker's playground. Now for a demonstration. Let's delve into the realm of practical application, where the knowledge we've gained so far gets put to the test. We're going to use Kali Linux, the most popular operating system among ethical hackers, and its powerful tools, Nmap and Schoolmap. First, we need to identify weak points in the target website, and that's where Nmap comes into play. Nmap, also known as Network Mapper, is a highly versatile tool that helps us scan networks and discover open ports and services. By running a simple command, we can get an overview of potential vulnerabilities present in the system. It's like having a digital blueprint of the website's security, allowing us to see where the weak points are. Once we've identified potential vulnerabilities, it's time to exploit them. Here, we're going to focus on SQL injection, a common website vulnerability. For this, we use SQLMap, an automated tool designed specifically to detect and exploit SQL injection flaws. It helps us manipulate the website's database through its input fields. With a few carefully crafted commands, we can retrieve sensitive data from the database. Now, imagine you've managed to extract the admin credentials from the database. What's next? Well, gaining access to the control panel, of course. As an admin, you can access the back end of the website. This is where website defacement comes in. Although it's not a sophisticated form of hacking, it's a common way for hackers to leave their mark. They change the website content, usually the index, mail file, to display their message. But wait, you might be thinking, isn't this illegal? Absolutely. Remember, the purpose of this demonstration isn't to encourage illegal activities. Instead, we want to illustrate how these attacks happen, so you can better protect your own websites. Understanding the methods hackers use is the first step towards strengthening your defenses. And there you have it, a hacked website. To reiterate, this demonstration is purely educational. It's a look into the mind of a hacker, a peek into the methods they use to exploit vulnerabilities. With this knowledge, you can be one step ahead, fortifying your websites against such attacks. That concludes our hacking demonstration. Remember, in the world of cybersecurity, knowledge truly is power. The more you understand about these techniques, the better you can protect yourself and your digital assets. So keep learning, keep practicing, and stay vigilant. And there you have it, a hacked website. Before we wrap up, a huge shout out to our channel, Cyber World YT. This is your platform for all things cybersecurity, where we navigate the complex digital landscape together. We aim to keep you informed and ahead of the curve, so if you've gleaned something new today, or you're just a fan of staying cyber smart, remember to subscribe. Don't miss out on your daily dose of digital defense and ethical hacking. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and join our community. Remember, knowledge is power. The digital landscape is ever-evolving and so are the tactics of those with malicious intent. By staying informed about the latest vulnerabilities and security practices, you're not just securing your websites, but also contributing to a safer internet for everyone. It's a continuous journey of learning and adapting. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and above all, keep your digital spaces secure. Thanks for watching Cyber Warrior.